What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through a eight step checklist of the things in which you need to be doing before you actually start drop shipping. Um, I try and be a bit more active now within my YouTube channel in terms of the community posts. I like to put out polls to try and find out kind of like what position my audience is in. And a couple of weeks ago then, I put out this post here that says, um, let's scroll down a bit further. Um, I used to a Shopify store in 2022. As we can see from the 90 votes, 50% uh, of people said yes. So this video is for those people who are starting. Um, I get questions or approached by people quite a lot, in fact, asking what the kind of like initial steps are. What do we have to do about bank accounts? How much money do I need? All those sorts of things. So think of this as kind of like your eight step game plan to start a dropshipping business. These are all the things you need to do. These are all the things you need to worry about. And we're gonna be covering them and answering those questions in this video. So that's it, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoy it um, and let's jump straight into it okay so the first thing you need when you start drop shipping is realistic expectations um, this might sound like a bit of a cliche one but it's actually really important um, it's really easy to look into drop shipping look into shopify look into pretty much any online business um, and when doing your research come across videos of people who have said they've tried drop shipping you can see screenshots on facebook groups and i tried drop shipping for four weeks and i made x amount of thousands of pounds or thousands of dollars um, but the harsh reality is unless you have experience of doing product research and picking products unless you have experience of building e-commerce websites unless you have experience of running in marketing campaigns um, then the harsh reality is um, in that in those first kind of like six months then you probably won't make any money at all um, unless you have the guidance of somebody who has that experience or unless you get a little bit lucky so if you've been following my channel for a while some of my earlier videos from a way back now in fact um, I documented the first few months of doing drop shipping and back then I was always like pretty good with computers so building stores came pretty easily to me um, I was always good at maths and things like that at school so when it comes to running Facebook ad campaigns as long as you know what kind of like pieces of information and data to read from and understand what they mean then marketing is going to be easier for you so it always was and then when it comes to the actual product selection thing I think the product that first made me my money I think I've discovered it watching a video actually by a guy called Adrian Morrison um, and that was kind of like what got me started on my journey that's what saw those initial results and that what kind of motivated me and spurred me on to keep doing it um, and here we are nearly six years later so number one is to have realistic expectations in those first three months you're going to be finding your feet you're going to be experimenting you're going to be testing you're going to be developing your skills in all three of those areas so if you don't make loads of money in those first few months um, try not to let that deter you um, just make sure you stay persistent make sure you stay positive um, and keep trying at this at the end of the day what you have to keep in mind is that if it was that easy as all the videos make out or the screenshots make out um, then everybody would be doing it and everybody would be making lots of money so just a quick recap then number one is have realistic expectations um, it's good to have big expectations and high expectations but I suppose the key takeaway here is that if you don't meet those in those first few months then just give yourself a bit more time to try and test a few different products develop your skills your knowledge and so on um, moving on to point number two then is let's get rid of this is vision so these might sound like cliche things um, after this one we'll get into the more practical stuff but vision is important because I feel like a lot of people get into dropshipping for the wrong reasons and they don't really understand what's involved in running a dropshipping business so before you actually get into this it's important to have a vision of what you want your lifestyle to look like and like how much freedom how much spare time do you want where do you want to work from do you have a family do you not have a family um, what sort of like materialistic things do you want in your life? Um, how much spare time do you want? Does that all match up and marry up with what dropshipping can offer you? Because at the end of the day, the worst thing you could do is invest all this time and invest all this money um, into dropshipping to get one year down the line and realize that it's not the business that you thought it was. And I think that's really important for a beginner getting in, involved in dropshipping because it can be portrayed in a completely different reality to what it is actually like um, so try and do your research as much as possible listen to people who are actually running drop shipping businesses learn from those people and then you'll soon get a realistic kind of vision um, of what it is actually like running a drop shipping business day to day number three is the starting budget so to start a business then you 
do need money you can do it extremely cheaply that is one of the kind of beautiful things about drop shipping is that if you think of any business in the world really then drop shipping is definitely up there in terms of the cheapest and easiest businesses to get started with um hence why it gets so much attention online because it pretty much applies to anybody um, in terms of the recommended budget then i would say a really good budget to get started with is a thousand pound or a thousand dollars this would give you lots of freedom to really kind of invest the amounts of money that you need to um, to do everything really really well so this will cover everything from store design it'll cover sampling products and paying influencers to film some user generated content or actors or some sort of video creation software and it will also give you enough budget to test a few different products a um, couple hundred dollars maybe a little bit more um, per product until you find one that kind of gets that traction that you're looking for that you can then reinvest your profits or keep investing more money into and doubling down on those products that are actually working so you can start scaling up to the bigger numbers that is one of the beauties of drop shipping is that when you really do find what works then you can scale things super super quickly it's just getting to that point which is the most difficult thing so one of my favorite quotes um it's so one of my favorite quotes it's to do with how bamboo grows now just bear with me for a second is that i, I can't remember it exactly to be honest it's something like it takes six months or 90 days or something it it takes a really long amount of time for bamboo to sprout like the first inch but then the second it kind of breaks the surface the surface in the next 90 days then it will grow like a crazy amount and drop shipping is the same it takes a long time to get to that point where you have a product that has that potential and has that promises and bringing in consistent results it's just finding that product and testing that product that takes the time and then once you actually get to that point then you can scale things super super quickly so when you see all these screenshots and things of people who have scaled stores super quickly it's because they have experience of doing those things so their product selection rate instead of one in every 30 products they're testing being successful because they have the skills and because they have the experience it's probably one in every five so the hit rate can be a lot higher they've obviously built a few more shopify stores as well than the average beginner so when it comes to putting a store together it's a lot quicker and of course when it comes to having a strategy and a facebook marketing campaign um, strategy then obviously they have that experience of how, of how facebook ads work what their ideal audience is looking for and how to put that in front of their audience now if you're watching this video thinking there's no way you could get together a thousand pound or a thousand dollars there are cheaper ways of doing it however they are much much slower that thousand dollars is mainly for people who are looking to try and see results as quickly as possible and they have the money to risk to invest into their business to run ads if you don't want to run any ads then you can do it organically by just building a following across social medias um, and it is like a domino effect so it'll be super 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 slow in the beginning but over time and when i say time over six months 12 months 18 months as you build that following you will start to see organic sales that you've essentially um, acquired for free purely by building a following across your social medias point number four is a separate bank account this is something i would recommend everybody get in um, regardless of whether it's drop shipping or some other business um, set up a separate bank account it could be a business one it could be a personal one completely up to you um, put in a chunk of money whether it's a thousand dollars like i mentioned in the previous point whatever it is you can afford to lose um, and then stick to that stick to that and use that bank account as kind of like your profit and loss spreadsheet because if you try and run it from your personal account like i did when i first very started um, the numbers get very hazy it can be very difficult to know whether you're actually making a profit or not because next to a facebook ad bill you might have your own home electricity bill and it can be really difficult to keep track of your finances if you keep them in a separate bank account every time you see that bank account go down and get closer and closer to zero it will force you to take note to realize that bank account is getting lower um, look at why it's getting lower and ultimately it will stop you from investing too much money that you can't afford to lose as well if you're running it from your personal bank account then the last thing you want to do is get to two weeks to the end of the month and not have enough money to pay your personal bills whereas if you keep everything separate you'll know exactly where you're at and you won't run into those sorts of troubles it's also good practice to do if you're running a business as well um, if you're serious about this and you should be setting up a business bank account anyway so definitely 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 set up a bank a separate bank account before you start spending 
spending a penny on your business put in what you can afford to lose or what you're willing to invest into this business and like I said every time it will force you to take note and keep track of your finances and spend your money wisely another massive mistake I did in the beginning um, as soon as I started seeing some traction I just assumed I had loads of money I didn't consider taxes I didn't consider accounting fees I didn't really have a genuine idea of like where my bank accounts were at because I was still running it from a personal bank account so I went out and I was buying like stupid stuff for the business like up to date um, iMacs which you just don't need as long as your computer is functional that's all you need and I just ended up wasting money on stuff I didn't really need um, and it got me into lots of trouble in terms of where my finances were at for my business because I was just spending pretty much what I didn't have and I didn't know I didn't have it because I was running it from my personal bank account so let that be a lesson um, just make sure you set up a separate bank account for your business so once you've done steps one to four then you're pretty much ready to start your business but before you start building out any particular store before you sign up to Shopify then my recommendation would be to start the product research stages um, typically people will approach this with two different approaches um, so approach number one is that you know what you want to sell basically you know what you are interested in you know what sort of business you want to run you know what sort of brand it is you want to run um, if that is the case then you know exactly what sort of products you're looking for you probably already have some products in mind um, if that isn't the case then start at the product research stages make sure you focus on product validation i've spoken about this in um, maybe videos a couple of weeks ago so make sure you go check that out product validation is by far the most important thing when it comes to doing product research if you want to guarantee or at least increase your chances of finding a product that has that potential um, to be really successful for you the reason why i recommend everybody start at this stage is because the products you find will dictate what type of business you start going forwards if you jump straight into creating a shopify account and build a store and then find out that the product isn't working and you need to sell a different product then you have to redesign rebrand redomain whatever it may be and essentially start from scratch whereas if you make sure you do a good job at the product research stages you'll avoid all of that it will save you lots of time um, and potentially it will save you lots and lots of money as well point number six to start drop shipping you obviously need a store um, typically i recommend shopify it's the one i have most experience in um, it's the one that comes with the most third-party apps and the best themes um, to be honest i'm not going to spend too much time talking about this i think shopify hands down is just so much better than all the others um, when it comes to actually building this store then i seriously recommend a paid theme the free ones from Shopify, they can work, but the way I look at it is that if you're serious about doing this and making your business work, why would you not spend $20, $30 a month on a custom theme, a third party theme, which looks super professional, has 10 times the amount of customizations um, and will literally can or can literally transform your store overnight will transform your store overnight um, and all those little things that kind of you get from these custom themes um, they all make a super big difference to your store it will increase your conversion rate and trust me by having a paid theme if you're getting a significant amount of traffic and when I say significant then I mean anywhere over 10,000 visits a month and you're and you're using a free theme by installing a paid theme as long as it's a good one of course then I will pretty much guarantee that the cost of the theme will be outweighed the return on investment will be like 10x from having a paid theme if you're getting that sort of traffic each and every month now when it comes to building a shopify store it's a tricky one to if you have no experience doing it it can be sometimes difficult to know if you've got a good store or not so this is where in my opinion it can pay dividends to try and get feedback from people who will give you an honest review um, and the sorts of things you need to be asking yourself is is would you yourself buy from this store send it to your friends send it to your family ask them for the most honest review and opinion as possible ask them if they would trust your store better yet send them the store send them a link to a product page on your store and say hey I'm, I'm thinking about buying this product but i'm not really sure if this store is trustworthy or not what do you think and then see what they come back don't tell them that you've built it and then that way you'll get an honest answer it's super important that you get this step right because a dodgy looking store will get you dodgy results like it's just a fact um, when I put out a post if we take a look what's the hardest part about Shopify drop shipping 120 votes and only 3% of people put build in a Shopify store which I found quite surprising to be honest because the amount of really amateurish Shopify stores that I see um, is, is quite a lot and 
it will suffer your business. Your business will be harmed by a Shopify store that isn't up to scratch. Point number seven is you need a strategy, um, more specifically a marketing strategy. Before you start spending a penny on ads, then I recommend, um, I'm talking in reference to Facebook ads here, I would recommend spending a solid two weeks, if not four weeks, watching as much content and videos you can to do with Facebook ads until you have an understanding um, of what they are, how they work, and what the data means. The amount of people that I speak to um, and they don't know what a CPC is or how to influence the CPC um, or what it means or what a good CPC is. And you shouldn't be spending money on things that you don't understand. So I'd recommend um, spending as much time as possible that you can afford learning about it, getting to a point where you feel comfortable and have a solid understanding of how they work before you start spending money on them, unless you have the guidance, of course, of somebody who does. Before you start spending money on Facebook ads, then it's really important that you have a strategy and a clear strategy of what it is you're trying to achieve. Yes, everybody's trying to make sales, everybody's trying to make a profit, but how are you going to do that? What is the strategy in which you're going to use, which is going to let you do that? What's your testing strategy? Are you going to test... Um, five ad sets each each of those ad sets going to have one interest or five interests what sort of audience size are you going to go after what sort of placements why are you choosing those placements why aren't you choosing other placements um, if you get three ad sets that are performing badly and two that are performing well which ones do you scale if you do scale then what sort of scaling strategy are you going to apply um, now it can sound quite daunting there are so many different factors and variables but this is something that you need to have at least a general understanding of before you start spending money on Facebook ads because if you don't understand it, then Facebook will just become a money pit. It will just become an endless money pit that you keep throwing more money into and not seeing a return from. And then last but not least, we have persistence. Arguably one of the most important pieces um, to this kind of starting checklist, if not the most important piece. Um, I'm a big believer in that if you persist at something for, lo for long enough and you're smart about it and you make sure that you learn from your mistakes, then eventually you're always going to reach that final destination, which is having a successful business that's bringing in regular income for you. The difficulty with persistence is it's difficult to know exactly how long you need to be persistent for. This is going to be completely different for everybody based on your current levels of experience, your current levels of skills. Um, your current levels of knowledge. For some people, they'll only need to persist for three months before they find that winning product and start making money. Some people, it'll be three years. But the most important thing is that when you go through those rough times, because you will, even when you have a well-established business, which is giving you a comfortable life, there's gonna be hurdles um, and things that you have to overcome. Um, and it's important to know that when you go through those times to refer back to why you got started in the first place. What is it that you're trying to kind of make better or improve or get away from? And just having those motivations of why you started in the first place is what's going to help you keep going, um, keep trying and never give up until you do reach that final destination. And trust me, through all the heartache, through all the sleepless nights, through all the gray hairs, through all the thousands of pounds that have been wasted, I suppose, um, I can tell you right now that it's 100% worth it. So whatever you do, just make sure you keep going. Um, don't let anybody else tell you. Otherwise, if you wanna make this work, then make sure you make it work for you and not for anybody else. And so with that being said then guys, I'm gonna wrap the video up. If you're still watching with me, then thank you very much. I really do appreciate the support on the channel. Um, I really hope this video has helped motivated some people to get started and take that step. The only way you're gonna make this business a success is actually by starting best way to get better at this business is by actually running a business so if you're watching this video now and you haven't started your Shopify store then get started today otherwise you'll never know you'll never know if this will be the best thing in your life until you actually start it today um, one final quick message then before you go if you are looking for somebody's help um, to help you with all of these things avoid those mistakes that I've spoken about in this video um, and you're looking for somebody to work with you one-on-one -on -one, hold your hand through the whole process take you from day one from literally nothing and after 60 days and in 60 days have a fully set up business that's bringing in consistent sales on a daily basis uh, make sure you check out my accelerator program it's a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with myself and um, we are full at the moment but there is a waiting list um, spots tend to come up maybe one or two every week um, so to make sure you don't miss out on those make sure you join the waiting list uh, if you want the link to that comment the word accelerator down below um, and I'll send across the information thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one